Hey babies, Grand Rising. Welcome, welcome. How you feeling? Thank you for all the gifts, all the likes, all the shares, Patrick. You know I'm sending them flowers back. Sharon, I'm sending Sharina, I'm selling that, sending that back to you. Thank you, thank you, chosen. Thank y'all for y'all's likes. I promise you. Thank you for your shares, y'all subscribe. Just y'all's kind words, your appreciation too. I appreciate you. You understand me? So listen. We going to be good. Look, babies, I promise you, do not be focused. And I got to make sure I make this clear to you. Don't be too focused on sending gifts because no disrespect, TikTok truly don't be paying us for that shit. Like, no disrespect, I appreciate you. But don't feel less that you are able to do it. You understand me? Just you being here, receiving your confirmation, being able to even send individuals in my direction. I appreciate you. You understand me? I promise you. So please don't put pressure on yourself based upon what you feel you can do. Your presence is appreciated. Your likes is appreciated. Your loves is appreciated. Just you again planting that seed to help other individuals see what they going through too. Just know that, all right? So please don't ever feel like you require to give no gifts or none of that, all right? Your presence is that. You sending people in my direction. I appreciate you, all right? So look, first and foremost, if nobody told you as of yet today, I love you. If nobody told you as of yet today, I am proud of you. You're going to continue to achieve anything you set out to do. You understand me? Also, I do got to give you that brief disclaimer. I only want you to take what resonates and leave the rest behind, all right? So don't be out here trying for certain confirmations for you. If you don't get your confirmation through me, I guarantee you're going to get it through another individual, all right? So be patient with your process. Also, this about the time that you might want to hit that volume because you already know. I'm loud. I'm only going to continue to get louder as God speaks through me. So definitely hit that volume, all right? So look chosen ones i had to get this run back if you was here you already heard that but let me say this orlando florida in atlanta georgia i will physically be in your city for our course all right i'm gonna hold a small class we're gonna go through everything you understand me it's an hour and a half of your time the tickets are now available in the link in my bio but again, know that there's only a limited amount of seats just because I like to be more personal with you. I like to be there to assist you and talk you and walk you through what we discuss in order for you to actually apply it to you, all right? So again, I appreciate you also. Please remember, I'll never reach out to you for a reading. You got to be ready to receive that message, all right? Because what is confirmations if you don't got clarity in order to know that that's for you, okay? So when you're ready to receive your message based upon the situation that you're in, what's expected, what you do, what other individuals intend for you, the link is in my bio. I got multiple readings of all type. And don't worry about certain prices because I got something small too. You understand? So again, know that I'm here to help you, all right? Now look, chosen ones, I want you to realize something, okay? Right now, you are starting to see certain things play out. You're starting to see certain truths. And when these truths are getting presented to you, you may feel bad about how you carried you as well as how other individuals are going to be impacted based upon the fact that you choosing you. You understand me? So let's talk. A lot of individuals, when you was growing up, you may have had certain individuals put you through certain stuff. You may have been born into certain mothers or fathers who, again, didn't allow you to tap into your feelings and your emotions. Anytime you told them how you was feeling, they didn't like that. They felt uncomfortable because at that time, they would have had to take accountability on how their actions may have impacted you. So there's certain truths or certain apologies or certain things that you want to get off your chest. But at that time, including now, these individuals still might not be ready yet. But I do, I do not want you to pause your progression, waiting for these people to understand what they put you through, as well as to accept the fact that they were supposed to be receiving certain blessings and abundance that came through you. You understand me? So let's talk. There's some of you right now that always act nonchalant. 
you act or you was taught that feelings don't matter. So therefore, when it comes to feelings, you choose not to get involved. There's certain people that your parents didn't ask you how you was feeling. Or again, if you told them, they ain't want to hear it. See, at that time, they knew what they was doing had an impact on you. But again, they didn't truly see it. There's certain people that they mother sat there and told them that they wasn't enough. So they started to bully you, had you viewing that same thing about you, not even realizing that they was actually projecting on you what they went through. See, there's certain mothers that you're waiting to apologize for what they said to you or abandon you, not even realize that that was the inner child of them called themselves trying to raise you. So if you came from a mother or father, a mother who may not have told you that your feelings were valid, if you told them about certain people that was around them that hurt you or what they was doing and they told you not to listen up or pay attention to it that they didn't want to hear it, they didn't want to take accountability that certain things happened to you just because they was lacking on protecting you. You understand me? There's certain mothers that was out here chasing certain lovers, allowing that lover to disrespect you, put their hands on you, manipulate you, deny you, or even pull that parent away from you. They allowed it because the inner child of them was running after love that they should have got from their parents in a sense. See, a lot of these mothers or fathers was praying for certain love to come through, didn't even realize that they was going to have love come through them, which was you. You understand me? I want you to realize that there are certain people, parents that went through certain cycles, went through certain destruction, went through, went through certain people not listening to them or respecting them. But again, they didn't realize that the love that they was going to receive was coming from the child that they had conceived. You understand me? So again, they put you to the side. They looking for everybody else to sit there and provide some type of stability or validity, but didn't even realize that that person that was supposed to bring that came through them the whole time. You got to know that chosen one. You understand me? So there's parents, again, that was praying for certain love to come through, didn't even realize that they gave birth to that love, light and abundance, and that was you. But again, because they were still operating from that inner child, still, again, didn't heal, they didn't realize that it was presented to you. So therefore, again, you're going to have to realize that chosen one. You cannot take it personal when these individuals are not acknowledging what they put you through. You cannot take it personal and make it seem like it's not valid and that that's not your truth just because they choose to sit there and forget they got selective memory in a sense. They don't want to think about how they contributed to something. They just want to sit there and think about how they was feeling when they did it. You understand me? So do not allow anybody to make you feel like your feelings is not valid. Do not make anybody sit there and project their energy on you. You had certain people that put you through certain obstacles. And again, when they put you through these things, some of them wasn't intentional, but some of them was getting their power off of putting you down. So you're going to have to see through that too. There's certain parents that again, they could have provided for you, but they also provided you with certain cycles that you currently fighting through. You're going to have to realize you admitting what they did or how they contributed to you needing certain healing. It's not you putting them down, but acknowledging that again, where you are at now and what could have happened had they been playing a certain position when you was a child. It was necessary though. You understand me? So there's some of you that's waiting for apologies that will never come in. Some of these individuals will be on their deathbed and there's certain things that still will not be said. Are you going to allow their truth to say, are you going to stay in your truth longer than they live and they lie? You understand me? You're going to have to put you on that pedestal, chosen ones. So I want you to realize that these individuals were raising you, but that was the inner child that was raising you. They was projecting what they went through, making it seem like you was there to save them when they truly was there to provide you with certain like to see chosen ones. There's certain parents, and I'm, again, I'm not just talking about feminines. I'm talking about masculines too. So divine masculines, there's certain mothers that when they partner left them, they put all that pressure on you. They sat there and told you that you the man of the house, made you feel like you had to provide for everybody else. Now you had certain goals and admirations that you want to do, but you can't move because if you move, then that means that those individuals aren't going to have access to certain things. I want you to realize that there's certain selfish ass mothers, right? Who's out there putting pressure on their sons. 
See, they in a sense are trying to mold them into a partner that they wanted to be when that shouldn't have been done. See, there's certain mothers that told you you the man of the house, made you feel like a man has to act a certain type of way, told you to put your head up, don't cry, don't do this, when really it shouldn't have been that way. You're going to have to realize, chosen one, that there's certain mothers that put pressure on you based upon what they put themselves through. They didn't select the right parent for you. So now they're making you be held accountable for things that they chose to do. You better get that together. Now, the masculines, you older, steady working every day, never home with your family, feeling like everywhere you go, you got to pay, making you feel like your feelings don't matter because nobody want to hear it and it shouldn't be that way. You out here attracting certain feminines that's just like your mother figure. So now they expect you to make certain plays. I'm trying to tell you that's not fair to you. You understand me? They put so much pressure on you because they chose or failed to have the right person that they work with produce you. You are not the answer to everybody's problems. You are a solution, but at the same time, you're gonna have to show them what they should be doing based upon you doing what God tells you to do. You understand me? I'm trying to tell you that is not your load to carry. Now you again, all your life been, your parents told you, a masculine is supposed to provide this. A masculine is supposed to do that. They didn't showed you how to get money, but they ain't tell your ass how to act. They ain't tell you how to feel. They ain't tell you that that's okay. They told you if you vulnerable, that somebody's going to disrupt certain things. I'm trying to tell you that's not true. That was their truth. That doesn't apply to you because you're not the same person as these individuals chosen one. You understand me? You are not your mother. You are not your father. So stop allowing them to project that energy on you and stop feeling guilty for choosing you and speaking your truth because they got selective memory on what they put you through. Do not do that. You hear me? You got to realize at the time you get certain karma by pausing other people's progression too. See, you don't realize that you pause their progression because every time they need something, they have to the ability to come back and fall on you. That there's certain people that are so arrogant, they can freely make certain moves, but you implanted in that location because if you choose to take a risk on you, that means it's a possibility that as much money wouldn't be coming through. So when those people call on you, you wouldn't have the ability to make certain moves. Then they going to speak foul about you you based upon the fact that you couldn't do this when really they shouldn't even have to depend on you for anything that they get you better know that chosen ones you understand me there's some of you that again are staying in a city that is not for you you staying in a family that is not for you you loyal to the wrong individuals you understand me your loyalty is going to cause your demise because you're not seeing that you are being loyal to some satanic or demonic demonic individuals the whole time are you going to be loyal to what God tells you to? Are you going to be loyal to the dreams and admirations that you're hidden to? Are you going to be loyal to the fact that you know that you deserve to have love and abundance too? It's not for you to carry anybody else's load. You understand me? They gonna see how to get through based upon the fact that they can see you do. See chosen ones, let's talk. I want you to realize again, there's certain people that project certain energy on you and you are always forced to take that in. Again, there's certain parents that when they raised you, it was the inner child raising them too because they never took the time to truly heal. They didn't sit there and stand in their truth. They listened to what somebody else telling them that they couldn't do instead of listening to God when he told them this is what they should be doing. You understand me? So again, don't put certain pressure on you. There's certain parents that, again, they'll compliment you if you're doing what they want you to do. But as soon as you start to step out of that shell, all of a sudden, all hell turns loose. That's not fair. You understand me? That is not fair, chosen ones. You cannot allow these people to put their pressure on you. Instead, you be you so that they force to see through certain projections and insecurities that they instilled in you. Half the time, you ain't even realizing that you the parent and they the youth. You better know that. You understand me? See, chosen ones, I want you to realize something, right? Right now, you're going to be forced to choose you. Right now, you're going to realize everything that you said that you wanted wouldn't do is going to come true. Now, again, chosen ones, I don't have to explain this to you because you already know. But for those that are unsure, I'm going to break it down a little bit, all right? So let's say this. 
there's certain people that again in your head you say you'll never do this i'll never i'll never this uh i'll never do this i'll never do that or again you had certain coping mechanisms that you was doing to again you started to cast certain illusions because your mind is the manifester your mind is the projector in a sense so just like in class you see that projector shining on that wall and that's what you see in a sense so whatever you put your mind to is going to come true for you so you allowing these people to stop you or make you feel like you can't make certain 10 moves you're going to see how all of that was projecting towards you too because before people get to know you they notice you so they're going to notice how you curry you. If you always sacrificing you, thank you, babies. If you always putting you last, then all of a sudden, how you going to feel bad about the fact that they was following your ass? See, there's certain parents that you then cooked up a meal. You done worked all day, cooked up a meal, cleaned up after it, made sure everybody ate before you. Now you telling them that it's okay to take advantage of you too. You letting them just because you done set that stone or that blueprint that's what they going to do then you have enough to have your feelings hurt talking about how come y'all don't acknowledge what i do how come y'all don't appreciate what i do how come y'all don't say thankful for what i do it's because you set that stone again before people know you they notice you so they observe what you do and how you carry you so if you are so secure and always sacrificing you and letting people go ahead of you and certain blessings that come towards you you let them sit there and pick through it first and leave certain scraps for you then you can't have your face screwed up when these people adhere to the things that you do you out here talking about okay well i gotta clean this y'all don't clean it right if you would have took five minutes out of your time and showed your children how to do it right, then you wouldn't have to clean up after them calling themselves cleaning up. You understand me? So you got to realize, chosen ones, you set that blueprint. You are the individual that what you project out is going to come in. So if you showing people that you always willing to sacrifice you, that all these loads should be carried on you and placed on you just because you got the ability and the strength to get through, that means that it's okay for people to keep sacrificing you. That's not right, chosen ones. So again, you have to realize the blueprint that you set. You got to realize that a lot of the times how you carry you is the true test. You got to realize if you start putting you first and other people are going to do that too. You understand me? I'm trying to tell you, if you take certain time, and again, it's say again for this example, you telling, you see that how you clean, people half-ass do that shit. Why do they half-ass do it? Because they know that you're going to come in, see that they didn't do it like you wanted, and that you're going to take over and do it too. So they intentionally will lack just based upon the fact that they know that you're going to come back through. That's not right. See, you're going to have to stay silent. See, at that time, you may be instructing vocally on what they should do. Clean over there, sweep under there, vacuum clean your rooms. But if you actually was working with them hand on hand and allow them to clean with you, then they would be doing the same thing because they will be mirroring your truth. See, chosen ones, sometimes you had to realize you got to get in the field physically in order for individuals to physically see how certain things can be carried. See, you could talk all day. But if you're not walking that way, then they're not going to pay attention to the things that you say. You better know that. See, if you so quick that every time something happens, some type of inconvenience, you want to take over that shit, then they going to, you suppressing them too. Because now you're not allowing them to live in their truth. Now you pausing their progression because they're not aligning with their purpose. Because every time they need something, they can come back to you. See, that's why certain common consequences been occurring. You understand me? You have to stop and be patient. You had to stop allowing everything to be loaded on you because a lot of you are, are pausing your progression based upon other individuals. You can't do that. Now let's talk, right? You know how certain children or certain people shit might have been you as a child. You sat there, somebody tell you that this is hot. This is hot, don't touch. You keep telling them verbally that it's hot, don't touch but because they didn't physically touch that yet they don't believe you it's almost like they're going to challenge you in a sense right so all of a sudden you keep saying that it's hot you keep running in you keep trying to keep them from touching that because you know that if they touch that it will be hurting them then there's a point in time where you don't say nothing you see them, all of a sudden you try to stop them, but they still touched it. See, at that time that they touched that and seen that that shit was hot, now they knew that they should have listened to you. 
You understand me the whole time? See, sometimes what you say is not strong enough. It's based upon what you do. And sometimes you have to stop being there to save all these individuals because that's sacrificing you. Sometimes you have to sit back and allow them to learn their own truth. Sometimes you have to have them sit there and learn certain things like God had you. See, chosen ones, I'm going to tell you because you're the line leader in a sense. You was that child that had to reach out and touch that hot shit. You was that child who had to touch that to experience it like, oh, nah, that's something I shouldn't be touching. So certain situations that you was placed in, you was placed on it based upon the fact that you had to experience that so you can be back and show other individuals where certain things is at. See, you got God in you. You got certain things that other individuals around you didn't have. I want you to realize, chosen one, that there's certain people that went through what you went through, but they ain't come out like your ass. They sat there. There's certain people, siblings too. See, I can adhere to this. Me and my siblings, we went through a rough life growing up. We got the same mother and shit. So therefore, we've seen certain situations, but our perceptions of it was different. See, whereas some of them went to drugs, some of them ended up just like her. I was the individual that seen that shit was hot and I was like, nah, I won't touch that shit again. See, I ain't have to do drugs like them. I seen how it had an impact on them. I seen how that shit had them hurt and how they currently lacking. See, you had to realize, chosen one, there's certain people that listen and there's certain people that got to touch that shit to know that what you was saying. So you out here trying to save everybody. Some of the times you try to give them certain signs, telling them that in the direction that they going towards isn't right, but you trying to sit there and help them not even realizing that you pause in their progression because they it's necessary for them to go through that so that they can learn certain lessons you better know that chosen ones you can't be out here you can't save nobody who don't want to save themselves so you out here staying in that place paying for your parents paying for your people you keep sacrificing you to make sure that they have certain abundance come through you keep hurting you or delaying certain things that you're supposed to do because you're so scared if you're not around those people gonna lose they gonna lose if you there because again how are they going to learn until they experience those things you got to stop that they can only be saved if they are wanting to you understand me so in the words of project pack don't save them they don't want to be saved let them go they're going to learn and after they experience that i guarantee they're going to change but certain people that choose not to that has nothing to do with you you keep moving in the direction that god tells you to don't pause your progression i'm trying to tell you you out here hurting yourself trying to be somebody else's blessing if they don't want to be blessed why are you chasing them if somebody is running from all that love light and abundance that you trying to pour into them if they wanted it they will stay still so that they can have that come in but if they keep running and running and running that means they don't want it so why are you chasing them when there's certain people currently right now that's praying to cross paths with somebody like you there's somebody that's going to see through and see your truth see how god had you cross their life and what position they supposed to play with you you gonna have to know that if they wanted it they'll accept it if they wanted it they would have been with you it's not no runner chaser dynamic don't listen to these people if something's for you it's not going to run away from it it's going to run towards it so why are you chasing something that don't want to be caught you understand me if they content with that miserable ass family that miserable ass relationship that miserable ass job if they are cool with sitting there sacrificing their feelings to see other people uprise then that has nothing to do with you that's not for you to do it too you walk in your truth and if they see you do it and they want to do it too that's cool but if not, you don't stop and pause your line because there's other people that's waiting behind you using your light to see through certain men. Listen, chosen ones. That, why are you holding up the line trying to explain to this person why they should go with you? If they don't want to go there and get to that abundance that God got for you, then you have them step aside because other people following and watching you. You understand me? Why are you going to pause all this time waiting for other people to see their truths and have they uprise while you sacrificing yourself slowly but surely having your demise we not doing it you understand me i want you to realize that there are certain individuals and i gotta say this because it's a strong message coming through there's some of you that had friends or family 
that went through certain things. These are people that was a part of your crew. These are people that y'all had some type of trauma bonding in a sense or went through similar things and you had a, felt a connection with them. But I want you to realize that you starting to see something, right? See, you may have sat there and said, death is all around you because certain people you was connected to started to lose their life and gain their wings. See, I want you to realize that at that time you started to feel that in projections and you started to feel like that's what it expected not even realize that god had them go around you but you don't want to remain because you was the one who was living in your truth see i want you to realize that there's certain people that was close to you that passed away and you feeling a certain type of way you feeling like damn i don't have my friends around to help celebrate not even realizing that they all voted for you because you spoke in your truth you was the one that was leading your crew so therefore they sacrificed them in a sense to save you so you're not even realizing that yes they not physically around you but they living through you and that you speaking your truth and doing what God asked you to is giving them training in the sense so when they come back they not gonna repeat the same cycles again you not realizing that death was around you based upon the fact that light and love and life was surrounding you you were spared so you feeling sad about who's not there, not even realizing that they chose you, that certain people tapped out in order to save you, that certain people seen that, okay, certain spiritual warfare was going to happen. See, you had certain parents pass too. You may have had certain time that they may have physically been removed, but again, if they was physically here, there's only a certain thing that they had the ability to do. They knew that if they passed away in a sense, that they would be able to save you, surround you, go everywhere where your ass was going to. See, you not realizing the bigger picture. This was all pre-planned, prepared. God made sure that they went with him in order to keep you here. You got to realize that. There's certain parents that they was physically here. They can only physically do something. And you would have sat. I'm trying to tell you. They, this was all pre-planned before you even came here. They already knew that they was going to sacrifice themselves in order to save you because you had certain strength that they didn't have yet. You had a purpose. You was chosen. You understand me? I'm trying to tell you, chosen one. So stop feeling like because you've seen death happen around you, that death is destined for you too. When really these people passed away in order to save you. So you being sad, not feeling like they living through your ass. That shit's not true. You understand me? You better know that. You better know that. We not allowing certain individuals or certain things that happen around you. You seen certain problems arise because you the solution. You better know that. You hear me? I'm trying to tell you so stop feeling like certain people's not physically here to be around you stop feeling like people are passed away when they living through you when again you living in your truth is helping them know what they should do when they get the opportunity to come back to this world they going to do the right things based upon you you are the chosen one you understand me so please stop pausing your progression. Please stop overlooking your blessing. You had certain people pass away and you feel like anybody that you get close to going to pass away too. Why are you speaking those things upon you? Why are you, because you've seen other individuals that went through what you went through, but they didn't make it out of. What does that say about you? That you chosen, that you here for a reason. They face the same thing as you, but they no longer breathe and you that chosen ones. You got to realize that. So are you going to allow all their deaths to be in vain? Or are you going to continue to shine so that they can live through you and you keeping their name alive? You not even realizing that you was the teacher in a sense. You was the person to show them this is what they can do before they had their transition. You better know that. And you better know how hard they going about you in the spiritual realm too. That these individuals have the ability to stop other individuals as soon as they speak and try to send ill intentions towards you. You better know that. If they was physically here, they wouldn't have been able to interfere like that. But because they in the other realm, they can move over here, then come right back. I'm trying to tell you, they around you. So if you think your mother and your father, your brothers, your homeboys, that because they passed away, that they still not around you. I'm trying to tell you, they sacrificed themselves in order for you to be here, chosen ones. So don't let that be in vain. Don't sit there and allow other people's projections to make you feel a certain type of way. You here for a reason. You understand me? You here for a reason. They went through what you went through. And they, how fit he say, and they not, man.
Don't you let that be in vain. You are the individual who is carrying on their name. You the one who's disconnecting them from that cycle and that karmic thing. You not even realizing them sacrificing them lives to keep you here. Now when they come back, they ain't got to go through that shit no more. You hear me? So stop taking it personal. Also stop feeling like if you leave where you at, that you going reach your death that's them evil people trying to project onto you see you feeling like if you leave this city that certain karma or certain people gonna catch up with you you feeling if you take this new start that certain demise or negativity is gonna head towards you that's the devil trying to keep you from making the moves that he know you supposed to do he's trying to fake you out not even realizing if you stay in that place that death will be headed towards you so get your ass out stop feeling again that if you take that risk on you that you going to lose not even realizing these individuals know that you losing as long as you stay where you at get your ass up you never know unless you do that how come you so quick to say take certain risks on some other so so shit that's not guaranteed there's certain people you took risk with that individual that you shouldn't have been around you took risk with that partner that was out there sleeping around you took risk with that person that kept hitting your shit you took risk with somebody who was stealing from you you took risk all these other times but you don't want to take risk on you when god's telling you that you can make these moves he even gave you a quick glimpse on the things that you gonna do but you so scared because you letting these people project on you you feeling like you're gonna lose out if you move not even realizing that that's those people projecting that on you because they know that they're gonna lose out on certain blessings from coming through as long as they're not connected to you you better know that why are you staying there you survive i know people right now you survived that city when all your homeboys got shot down. You survived that season when everybody else around you is no longer breathing, but you scared to take that risk to get out, not even realizing that this is God telling you that you got some divine shit, that God's telling you that you got a purpose, you need to focus and get your ass on. You letting these people project on you because you the one keeping they house together. You the one, if you sit there and take that risk and no longer work at that job, then that means money's not coming in. That means that these people that you was helping pay certain things wouldn't be able to pay for it, not even realizing that that's what God intentionally is doing because you pausing these people progression because they always depending on your blessings. No. Every time you got money come in, you out here breaking that shit down with them and they ain't do nothing to earn it but know you. You out here working on behalf of all these individuals, but they not working towards shit, but working on you, working your nerve, doing work on you physically, mentally, magically too. Don't allow these people to project that on you. You not they mother, you not they sister, you not they brother. I don't care what type of label that you have. You got to realize when God tells you to move, you better listen or your ass going to be in lack. You going to have to, man, listen. I'm trying to tell you, baby, don't worry about the gifts. I promise you, your presence is a gift enough. Just by you aligning and receiving your confirmation and giving it to another individual, I promise you, that's enough. Never feel like you got, I'm trying to tell you. Just know that. You allowed the fact that you was the man or woman of the house that you stepped up when the other person stepped down there's certain feminists that you've been raising your sister's name since you was a child now everybody every time they see you have an uprise they come out with their hand out it's a no for me you pausing your blessings and pausing their progression because every time they need something, they know that they can come to you to get it. That's why God's going to pause your shit from coming in because every time he gives you something, you give to them when knowing that you should be investing in the purpose that he wants you to. Knowing that your seeds should be planted in a different location, that you should be seeing different views. You out here allowing they fear to be placed on you. Again, they fear that if you're no longer around and they no longer can use you, you better know that. You waiting for these blessings to come through and God's like, I'm not giving it to you because every time I ask something come through, you break it down with these individuals and leave scraps for you. I'll be damned. You understand me? I'm trying to tell you. It's no longer sacrificing your happiness or other people's opinions for some shit. Everything that you said that you wouldn't do, you couldn't do, God's going to show you. That's what he's going to have you do. So you talking about, I'm trying to tell you certain partnerships too because this keeps coming through. There's certain people that you felt a spark with when you met them and you could have met them based upon somebody that you used to be with in a past tense. So your past partner could have made and introduced you to your true boo. This could be their friend, their family, whatever the case may be. You ain't even 
never realized that God was intentionally having these things happen. See, back in the day, you could have said, I would never be a homie hopper. I would never do this. God sitting there laughing like you don't even know what's about to come in. You not even realizing that homie had to be a leap pad for you to hop into the person that you's truly supposed to be with. You better know that. You hear me? You out here thinking about how the world's going to view you, how that past person's going to view you, how they're going to feel certain bad things about you, but they put you through certain shit when you was out there being certain love, light, and abundance to these individuals. They didn't care when life, love, abundance was presented to them. They didn't want it. Now somebody else close to them sees that that's something. Now somebody close to them is stepping up in their dream and their purpose, chasing their admirations, not even realize that God had you cross paths with that person to change some shit. See, I want you to realize with the people that you about to be connected to, if they know somebody that you know, God had that intentionally happen for you. Because when this person sees that you choose this other individual over them, that's going to be the death of ego within so therefore they gonna have certain healing happening you understand me you don't realize that God would strategically have something happen have them feel a certain type of way about whatever's happening you understand me God is going to have that intentionally. See, these are the same people that they was talking stuff about you too. Talking about, yeah, I know shorties at home while they was running with they knew boo. They knew what they was doing was wrong, but they didn't care how it would impact you. So now you out here pausing your progressions based upon what these people lack to do for you. You better stop that. That's why I say, Eric, you better be cautious of what you say you'll never do because you don't even realize half the time that's God going to intentionally have you do. You understand me? You not even realizing you stepping away and having these blessings go to that God is intentionally having that, having that happen to help these individuals that was around you. And if they feel a certain type of way, let that be. Don't worry about that. You understand me? I'm trying to tell you the death of ego is here. Ego is evil and that shit is done. You understand me? You out here scared about how they going to view you because you got a kid with this person about to have a kid with they crew. It doesn't matter because that past person wasn't even your boo. They was just the leap pad, the stepping stone to lead you to where you were supposed to go to. That job or the opportunity. See, I want you to realize certain karmics are coming back and they going to have to pay you for everything that they had your ass in lack. So those partners that's coming back trying to pause you from moving on, trying to pay certain things you don't even realize why it's going on. There's certain bills that's coming up that God's not having you able to pay for just because that karma is going to have to come back and pay for them. And when I say come back, I ain't talking about be with your ass. I'm talking about they going to have to come back, assist with that because they didn't stole from your ass and made sure that you was in lack. So I want you to realize that certain situations, your car fucked up and you got to go to so-and-so and so-and-so got to help you get another one while you think. God is clearing off that karmic payoff right before you get to move into your real thing. God is making them pay for that car, that same car that's gonna be used to drive to your new boo. I'm trying to tell you for you to see new views. I'm trying to tell you, so don't sit there and think because they forced to come back in a sense to help you. It's because they was taken from your ass when you was they boo. They was taken and making sure you was a lack energetically, financially too. Half of these people, the same thing God's gonna have you do is the things that they put you through, but your intentions is not the same, so that karma is not going to come through. Those people was cheating, sleeping, creeping, talking bad about you. The same person that they talked bad about was viewing you in a different view. They seen your truths and seen what you could do and they knew that if they had an opportunity to be presented with you that they was going to build and play that position that nobody can break through. You better know that. You understand me? God about to show it so you better be cautious of the shit that you said you'll never do. Because that's the same thing that God's going to have you to. You understand me? And why? Because it's a learning experience for these individuals that was trying to talk to This is all intentionally be being done. You hearing me? So stop thinking about what you do, how it affects other individuals. When you're doing the right thing and doing what God asked you to, you can never be wrong. You hearing me? I'm trying to tell you, they gonna call you everything but a child of God, but it don't matter, cause when you was doing everything they asked you, they still was talking shit, still was talking about you was lacking, still talking about you wasn't doing enough, cause you wasn't building them up when they should have been building themselves. You hear me? 
Now you go in the rip, man. I'm trying to tell you, everything that you said you wasn't going to do is the same thing God's going to have you do because He's going to have to be a lesson to these individuals who tried you. He's going to have these individuals currently going through trials and trials. Now they stressed on how they can help you because they know that this is something that God told them that they have to do. I'm trying to tell you, you wondering why when you took this leap of faith, something slowed up. God's having them come back and pay up, and when they come back, they not coming to stay. They crossing paths. Bless, dropping off these blessings And now they going they opposite way I'm trying to tell you Everything that you gave these individuals You speaking all these years of love, light and abundance to them You always telling them things that they could be and should be doing You telling them that they this You telling them that they that What you were speaking is what they were seeking And they started to see that You understand me? Now God is making them come back Pay for everything they took They now going to feel how you felt When they did the things that they did but again, you shouldn't feel bad, bad about it because know that it's divinely happening. God, I'm trying to tell you. You hear me? You are exactly where you're supposed to be. You asking God what I'm supposed to do. Whole time you ain't realize God's intentionally had these things happening so that nobody has the ability to take from you. That they going to be forced to provide you with the, what they call themselves stealing from you. So that same money that they didn't tell you came in, knowing damn well they were supposed to break it down with you. That same money that they sat there behind the scenes and took from you is the same money that they going to be forced to come back and invest in you. They going to be forced to give you that shit back and you not even realizing how they had the ability to do the things that they doing for you is because it was just shit that they took in order to be able to do it. So you out here talking about them. How so and so get my car fixed? How so and so pay this for it? How so and so had that money to make sure certain things got handled because that was your shit. You ain't know that. I'm trying to tell you. Certain people that you was trying to build up, they was trying to down you. Now guys like I I I get that shit back for I go ahead and have shorty be exactly where he or she's supposed to be at. I'm trying to tell you, chosen one. Everything is happening for a reason. You asking God, like, what am I doing to deserve this? You did what you were supposed to do. You earned this. You wondering why shit slowed down? It's because it was them forced to step up now. And as soon as they pay your ass back, God's going to have you cross paths. I'm, man, listen, chosen one. Everything that they took is coming back. They thought that they successfully got, that's why they scratching their head in a sense like, damn. How? I, they thought they had to come up, thought they were sitting on a couple stacks. Whole time God was going to have something happen with your shit so that they are forced to bring that back. I'm trying to tell you. You hear me? You better know that. You better know that. I'm trying to tell you. I promise you, I'm going to upload this. All my lives is replays, okay? I can't. I'm going to have replays, so... Go ahead, turn your notifications on on my YouTube. The link's in the bio. I always repost my uh, lives for you. But know that chosen one. They being forced to give you everything that they took from you. And again, they not realizing what's happening. But you keep speaking in your truth. I want you to realize that everything that's happening is on behalf of you. You better know that, all right? So many great things aligned for you. Also, stop thinking about who's not physically here because they ass still around you. They still, do you realize that there's a certain waiting period for certain people that if they learn they lesson? So I always say that there's a couple of heavens. It's based upon the cycle that you in. So if you needed to work on self-love, then you go in this direction. If you had self-love, but you put other people before you, you go in this direction. It's workshops. So if you're wondering why some people, some spirits are able to tap in, it's because, again, they haven't came back physically yet. They haven't reincarnated yet because they had certain cycles and certain trainings that they had to go through in a sense. Whereas there's other people that have already been reincarnated, but they only come to you in a dream because when they awake. So there's certain people in another universe right now, they alive. And when you're asleep, they're awake. So therefore, there's certain people that they have dreams which about you when they sleep. And when you're awake, you drink, they dreaming about these individuals. Realize that they always connected to you, but sometimes you don't see the signs that's clear. Sometimes you wondering why so-and-so, oh, they never appear. It's because every time they show you a sign, you look over it and try to come up with a reason, a logical reason on why it's happening. 
You understand me? So why you think again, some people will just come to you in your dream. There's certain people that you wake up and you be like, damn, I seen a face. Not even realizing that you tapping into the memory of that person that you was used to be connected to, that you see in their face based upon who they used to be, but not realizing that that soul remains the same in you. So you see familiar faces that you like, I never met, but there's a message that they giving you, you just couldn't comprehend it yet i'm trying to tell you chosen ones you starting to see god is going to show you but you got to be willing to listen to him you understand me god is going to show you this person's for you but you may be like i don't want to move towards them because if i do these other people going to feel a certain type of way about it that's exactly why god's having you do what you do he made sure that your true divine boo was connected to those past people so when you finally make your choice he going to see what you're going to choose you're going to choose what the devil's telling your ass you shouldn't have did are you going to listen to the devil when they say you shouldn't do that shit or you going to listen to him when he tells you that's your partner you always better jump on in i'm trying to tell you you hear me you better know that chosen ones there's some of your parents some of your people that's in the workshop they train it again they sacrifice themselves in order to keep you here so now they looking at you and how you carry yourself and they taking notes in a sense so they just expect to taking notes like yeah as soon as i get an opportunity to come back i'm about to do that shit i'm trying to tell you your homeboys who lost their life your friends who lost their life they learning from you they sacrificed themselves in order to keep your life i'm trying to tell you they seen that you was somebody who was never going to give up they seen any situation that you went through your ass was able to overcome they sacrificed themselves to see you succeed so don't you sit there and talk about you ain't gonna be what god told your ass you need to be you better know that you understand me you gotta realize literally when y'all come for readings i be and anybody who got a reading for me and i definitely connected with your past individuals who passed away they can confirm because your people will tell me specific things that i'm supposed to say things that only you would know and you know it's coming from them i start describing how they look describing how they action then i'll tell you what they said they'll even tell me when they looking at you in a certain room and th certain things that you said to them you better know that they hear you you better know that certain people that's going through certain training obstacles they have the opportunity to come back to you speak to you because they see that there's an answer that you need from them they want to make sure that you know that they still there you hear me i promise you I promise you, you sitting there in that room talking about, Ma, if you're here, give me a sign. Whole time, you ain't realized when you heard that bell ring, that was them, but you made a, a, a logical re, uh, reason on why that was happening. I'm trying to tell you, anybody who came to me, even in our coaching sessions, where we on the phone, they, I literally say, hey, so your father said this, da, 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 do you? It's a man. I'll describe it to you. They here watching you. Stop listening to these people who are doubting because they feel like they people ain't come through. When they people did, they just wasn't listening. They was coming up with logical explanations on why they was doing the things they was doing. Your mother didn't turn that music on. You talking about it must be a shortage in this. Your mother didn't knock that shit off the table. You blaming it on the wind. Your, mother, your father didn't sat there and did certain things to the partner that was playing you. You not even realizing that that was your partner your parents protecting you they don't plan listen i'm trying to tell you i'm trying to tell you i'm trying don't listen to these people talk about after this there's nothing it's nothing for them because they didn't sold they soul in a sense they don't got nothing that comes after this see they can't break through that firmament if they didn't go within so therefore don't listen to that they just saying it because they feel like they people haven't came back yet they people man i'm trying to tell you you gonna see i want you to realize that you got to pay attention to certain things that you feel and they gonna come through music they gonna come through certain smells that trigger certain thoughts they're gonna come with you sitting there feeling like damn this is deja vu whole time you ain't realize that that's that spiritual realm communicating through you i'm trying to tell you stop feeling like your people ain't around you stop listening to these people who truly can't connect with these individuals trying to down you trying to tell you that there's nothing after this that shit is not true they saying it because they knew that they don't have the ability like you to get through i'm trying to tell you you understand me 
I'm trying to tell you, don't listen to these people. They don't believe it because they allow other people's projections to tell them that it can't happen. When I'm trying to tell you, your people is communicating with you. Everything, there's people that you sit there and don't realize that they've been met. You talking about, I wish so-and-so was alive to meet my child. They met your child before your ass did. They didn't already told your child about certain stories and what y'all been through with them. I'm trying to stop listening to that. There's certain people that your children, you may have had miscarriages, not even realizing that your child chose not to come in based upon who they was coming into, not you, but who your ass was connected to. That as soon as you disconnect from your past, boo, that same child that didn't successfully be birthed is going to be birthed through you. You better know that. You hear me? I'm trying to tell you, everything happens for a reason. You better go with God and allow him to lead you. You out here sad, not, man, I'm trying to tell you, chosen ones. I promise you. I promise you. That's why, let me tell you this. With everybody who comes for a reading or a coaching session, I always say, please don't tell me nothing about you. Let me say what God has me tell you. And as the confirmations come through, then, of course, you can say that. But that's how you know who is who because of what they saying. That's how you know that message for you. That's how you have clarity. You can't tell these individuals what you expect to hear. I'm trying to tell you, there's certain things that you randomly want to say and you like, yo, that shit seem weird. But you're not even realizing what you say is somebody else's confirmation. Something that somebody else said randomly. Okay, if this is it, had him say this. You better listen to what God tells you to do. You understand me? I'm trying to tell you. You gonna know who's the truth based upon the fact you ain't gotta tell them nothing about you. I don't want you to tell me your birthday, your sign. I don't want you to tell me your situation, none of that. I want you to listen to what God tells me to tell you and you gonna know it's your truth based upon the specific information that gets provided to you. The only thing that I need to see is a picture of you just like I'm looking at you. And I'm going to be able to tell you everything that you went through, what's happening to you, what's coming towards you. That's how you're going to know who's the truth. Don't you listen to these people that's getting all these things about you, giving you the bare minimum just to keep you dependent on them. Nah, anybody who knows me, you can't even keep coming back to back for no reading. Because I want you to find you, get your confirmation so you know your truth. So now guess what? You got the ability to trust you. Now you can go ahead and spread your light to other individuals and get them the clarity that they need to you understand me you hear me I'm trying to tell you don't sit there I'm trying to tell you chosen ones if somebody try to keep you restricted and I tell people yeah my readings is how I get my living that's my official business is registered that's my job that's my purpose I don't play about this but everybody knows me knows that when it comes to that money yeah this is how I live this is how my children eat this is all of that but i'm not gonna keep you dependent on me and try to force you to come back i'm not gonna keep asking you to spend certain med money on certain messages that you know i provide that clarity tell you what you need to know and have you gracefully go and shine but if you gotta come back from time to time that's great but i take this spirituality like a marathon you understand me? I go ahead, pass the baton to you. You go ahead, use your light to pass that baton to another individual. When you was feeling what you was feeling, when certain messages was coming in, you doubted you. So now I was able to provide that confirmation. So now you know that what you was feeling was true. Now you know and got confidence about you. So now when other people are uncertain, you could tell them on what you went through. You go through things to help other people grow through. I'm trying to tell you. You heard me. That's why I say I appreciate y'all's gifts. I appreciate that, but no disrespect. Y'all be seeing followers. Oh, somebody got a large number. TikTok don't pay you. That's why people always be in doing those matches with other individuals for you to potentially gift them. My gift I get based upon the fact of the information that I could provide to you. You telling somebody about me, so now they come to me to get assistance and can go to the next individual to come in. That's how I get, you understand? I'm trying to tell you. So please stop thinking. I see people keep like commenting. I wish I had a universe to give you. I, you are the universe, baby. Your presence, your likes, you the fact that you put in my room, my name in rooms that I ain't even been in. The fact that you receiving some type of confirmation and you willing to go give it to other individuals. I appreciate that. You hear me? 
I promise you, God's going to make sure that I'm provided for as long as I'm aligning my purpose. I promise you, I go through certain things to make sure that you ain't got to do it. I promise you that this is the position that I would have been doing no matter what. So God makes sure no matter what money come through, if there's seasons that slow down, I'm still going to be here for you. No matter if this, I just know I got to pick up there. I know I got to turn my, I'm going to be, I promise you. You hear me? I promise you. I promise you. Because I'm in my purpose, I know God's going to always come through. Shit, there's been days that I had $5 to my name, came through, gave mad free readings to individuals because I know that I'm going to provide a change no matter if I'm getting changed that day. It's not going to change me. You hear me? I want, I'm about Yo, I'm about love. I'm about God. I'm not going to play about God. I don't care if there's days that I'm scraping. I'm going to be good. I promise you. You hear me? As long as you're doing what God asked you to, at that right time, he's going to have abundance come through. At that right time, he's going to make sure that you get to where you need to go to. At that right time, I'm trying to tell you. You hear me? This is something that I would naturally do. This is something that anybody who knows me, I've always done. Since a child, I've been connected with God. Since a child, I've been, been able to connect with both sides. So therefore, please stop downplaying yourself based upon what you got, I promise you. You don't realize that your presence is enough. Your presence is the presence. The information that you get, you going to be somebody else's blessing. I promise you. You hear me? I promise you. So the likes, I appreciate. Even TikTok be messing with certain algorithm shit where y'all might not always see my face. Know that if you look up my name, I'm going to be right there for you. You hear me? Nobody going to stop God's message from coming through. Nobody's going to try to delay somebody because they speaking that truth. I'm going to make the devil feel uncomfortable every time. I promise you. I don't care if they try to hit this there or try to slow that down there. God's going to make sure that I get to where I'm supposed to go to so I can see you. So I can be a confirmation for you. So I can help you. So you can go out and help other individuals too. This is my position, chosen one. You hear me? I love you. And I'm not the type to say, well, I know that if I do this, I'm going to get a blessing. This is some nat This is what I'm going to naturally do. And I know that God's naturally going to make certain moves. There's times that I ain't know how this going to get paid at the last minute this came through. There's a time where I had to give my last to somebody else when I was praying for certain blessings to come through. God was like, give them that money I just gave you. I was like, man, God, I just asked you for this. He was like, can you do what I asked you to? As soon as I gave that person that fun, God had that double back come through i'm trying to tell you chosen one when you in your purpose that profit is ten, typically the last to come but again god just wants to see is this something that you naturally would have done or is this something that you 